Disney's Pop Century Resort is a great place to stay for families and couples who are looking for a fun and affordable Disney vacation. But it's a large resort with close to 3,000 rooms spread over 175 acres. Booking the right room here should be an important part of your vacation planning process. So where are the best rooms at Disney's Pop Century Resort? It's coming up right now. Disney's Pop Century Resort is a value-priced hotel located in Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's themed to the pop culture of the 1950s through the 1990s, with uh, each building decorated to represent a different decade. The resort was originally planned to open in December of 2001, though the opening was delayed until December 14, 2003, due to the tourism crash that followed the events on 9-11. Only uh, half of the resort opened while the other half sat abandoned for years, eventually becoming Disney's Art of Animation Resort in 2012. Pop Century is also on the Disney Skyliner transportation system, a uh, terrific perk for a value hotel. This overhead gondola system flies guests to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot. It's on the southern spur of the network, so you'll see uh, that you'll need to change gondolas at the Caribbean Beach Station, depending on which theme park you want to visit. Could be long lines to board the Skyliner during peak times, and then more long lines when you need to transfer gondolas, but they do move quickly. Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort is the Skyliner hub, so if you stay at that resort, you won't have to transfer gondolas, but it does cost more money than Pop Century. Pop Century is made up of 10 four-story buildings. Rooms are about 260 square feet. How does that compare to other Disney hotels? Well, moderate hotels are uh, about 315 square feet and deluxe rooms are about 380 square feet. So yeah, they are a little small. The vast majority of rooms come with two queen size beds, uh, sort of. One of the beds is a Murphy bed that also doubles as a table. This is a, a smart move on Disney's part because with one of the beds out of the way, your 260 square foot room suddenly feels much larger. There are some rooms that have king beds. These rooms can sleep up to two adults plus one child up to age three in a crib. Yes, there are elevators at Pop Century, so if you have strollers, you'll be happy to know that you won't have to take the stairs. However, if you have a scooter, I would recommend that you make a request for a ground floor room. It's just a lot easier. You'll access your room via exterior hallways. Rooms have central heat and air conditioning, so they tend to be nice and quiet. I have a room tour video on Pop Century Rooms that I will link to in the description below. How does Pop Century compare to other Disney value resorts? Well, it's nearly identical in layout and size to Disney's All-Stars Resort, also in the value category. But Pop is more centrally located on Walt Disney World property. All-Star tends to cater to youth groups, and while Pop sometimes is used for this too, it's not as common. Having the uh, added benefit of being on Skyliner, Pop Century tends to cost slightly more than the All-Stars, but if it's within your budget, I would recommend Pop over All-Stars any day. Art of Animation is Pop Century's sister hotel. They even share the same Skyliner station, but Art of Animation is primarily a family suite resort, uh, but that's a different show. Art has a limited number of standard rooms, and I would consider them to be the flagship value rooms at Walt Disney World. They have a Little Mermaid theme, and they are larger by nearly 20 square feet, uh, but they also cost more. The feature pool, known as the Hippie Dippy Pool, is located directly behind the lobby and food court, known as Classic Hall. Now in the value resorts, you won't find a water slide, but at the main pool, you do have lifeguards on duty, and there is a nearby pool bar. There are two additional pools at this resort located in the 1950s section and in the 1990s section that are more convenient to the outermost buildings at the resort. One is shaped like a giant bowling pin, that's the one in the 1950s, and one is shaped like a computer screen, that's the one in the 1990s section. There are 10 buildings in all at Pop Century, so having these neighborhood pools sure is convenient so that you don't have to walk all the way to the center of the resort just to go to the pool. Now there are four room categories at Pop Century. Standard rooms are the most economical room category within Pop Century and can be the furthest away from the feature pool and amenities, but not necessarily. Views won't be too impressive in a standard room, likely landscaping, a service area, or parking lot. 
Standard rooms are found throughout the entire resort and in every section. I wouldn't put a lot of emphasis on view at a value resort. These resorts are so big that it's better to book your room by location instead. Standard pool view rooms are run-of-the-house rooms close to one of the resort's pools, but probably not the feature pool. Most people select this room category not because of the view, but because they are guaranteed to be close to one of the pools. You'll find standard pool view rooms in buildings 1, 2, 3, 7, and 9. Buildings 1 and 3 are more desirable because they are a little closer to Classic Hall and Skyliner. But buildings 7 and 9 are a little closer to the bus stop, where you can catch the bus to Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. Preferred rooms are guaranteed to be centrally located within the resort. These uh, rooms will be close to the lobby known as Classic Hall, the Disney Skyliner station, the bus stop, and dining. It's worth noting that these rooms cost only slightly more per night than a standard room, and they're well worth the extra cost. Many times the cost is only $20 more per night, but it makes a big difference. You'll have a lot less walking to do. Preferred rooms at Pop Century are all about location. And you'll find preferred rooms in buildings 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. These are the most popular rooms at Pop Century, and they tend to book up before other categories, even though they cost more. And preferred pool view rooms are located in buildings 4 and 5. They're essentially located within the resort and guaranteed to be near the Hippy Dippy feature pool. I recommend requesting a higher floor so you can actually see the pool from above and for some added privacy. So let's take a look at some of the different decades. The 1950s, which is uh, located in buildings 1, 2, and 3, have their own neighborhood pool. There's a mix of standard and preferred rooms here. But uh, buildings 1 and 3 are closer to Classic Hall, somewhat closer to Skyliner, but they are far from the bus stop. The 1960s and 1970s, which are buildings 4, 5, 6, and 10, are the most requested sections of Pop Century. They are all close to Classic Hall and the Skyliner Station, this section houses standard, standard pool, preferred, and pool view rooms. And buildings 7 and 9 make up the 1980s section. You'll find mostly standard and standard pool view rooms. While most rooms in this section can be far from Classic Hall, they have their own pool, and they are a little bit closer to the bus stop. The 1990s decade is just one building, Building 8. This is the furthest away from Classic Hall and Skyliner, but somewhat close to the bus stop. But everything else will be a hike. Rooms on the east side of the building tend to have noise issues with the uh, nearby Osceola Parkway, just on the other side of the trees. If you book your room through a travel wholesaler like Priceline, odds are you will be in the 1990s section. Honestly, I cannot think of any reason why anybody would want to request the 1990s section. Remember that preferred rooms are only slightly more than standard rooms most of the time, so I would begin my search with a preferred room at Pop Century. Preferred pool rooms are closer to the pool, yeah, but they can also be really noisy. They are also the priciest room category at this hotel. Now, if you're looking for the absolute best location at Pop Century, there's no doubt that the 1960s section is the most convenient. But these rooms uh, in this section are in a high traffic area with people walking by to get to the pool and Skyliner station. I recommend a higher floor because you'll have more privacy with better views. If you prefer to be close to Disney Skyliner, I recommend booking a preferred room and requesting buildings 4 or 5. Many of these rooms have good views of Hourglass Lake and the Skyliner gondolas going by. The best views at Pop Century will be the standard room and preferred rooms that overlook Hourglass Lake and the Disney Skyliner. Buildings 3, 4, 5, and 6 all have rooms that overlook the lake. Remember that at Disney World Value Hotels, preferred rooms are more about location than view. Standard rooms in the 1960s tend to have better views, while preferred are more convenient. Why is it better to book a preferred room versus a standard room? Well, even though many buildings contain both preferred and standard rooms, a preferred room is guaranteed to be in a convenient location. Room requests are not guaranteed, so you could end up with a standard room in the 1990s even if you have made a request for the 1960s. If you prefer not to roll the dice, then you definitely want to book a preferred room. 
I help my clients with room requests all the time. So feel free to contact me for your next Disney World vacation. Together, we can come up with the perfect room request. So what are some of my favorite rooms at this resort? Well, I like Building 3, especially Room 3435. It has terrific views of the lake and the Skyliner, and it's in a really nice and quiet location. And for preferred rooms, I like Room 4436 in Building 4. It has views of trees and a partial view of Building 5. And I also like uh, preferred Room 6112 in Building 6. It's a ground floor room just steps away from Classic Hall. Thanks for watching my video on best rooms at Pop Century Resort. If you have a room recommendation or a favorite room, go ahead and use the comment section below. For more information about what I do, visit me at orlandoparksky.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram.